Creations. Welcome back to my stamp room. In this video, I wanted to share a couple of tips with you. Um, I was making a few little mini Valentine cards today, and I thought of some things that might be helpful to you when you're creating some little cards or working with your kids to hand out Valentines in their classroom. And I'm using the little single stamp that's in the Valentine Treat Bundle promotion that's available through January 21st, 2013. And it comes with this cute little Valentine heart-shaped stamp and a package of the 1x8 cello bags that you can fill with candy or pencils. And um, it's, I think, $5.95, and that's through January 21st. So it's a really good deal, and it's a cute little image. Look, it's not too mushy. You know, it's perfect for kids to give to one another or to their teachers. So let me show you some of the ones I've made. First of all, I started with... I had a lot of real red scraps in my scrap drawer. So uh, this one uh, was a little larger and I cut it down to three by six to make a little three by three card. And then I had this little polka dot um, parade, I believe it is. It's in the idea of the big catalog. And it is cut at two and seven eighths inch square. It's a real red little dot. And then I stamped the image and punched both of these, the glimmer paper and the image in with the full heart punch and just adhere them, pop those up with um, mini glue dots and put a little rhinestone there. Okay, let me show you one here. It was kind of an odd shape piece. I wrote down the measurements. This one was like five by three. Okay, so half of five was two and a half, so I scored it there. And then I thought, okay, that'll make an okay card. So then I cut my designer paper to two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And I'm going to layer that just on top. And, you know, they don't all have to be the same size. Um, as long as you can put an image on them and write a little note inside, you're good to go. Okay, and then I'm going to take this really pretty glimmer heart, and I like to, to use Stampin' Dimensionals to kind of pop it up on the card. Okay, like that. And then here's my Happy Valentine's Day image, and I'm going to use Dimensionals on that as well. And just kind of put it cattywampus like that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add a little basic rhinestone again, right here. And there, have a really quick and easy, cute little valentine. And you can see where your kids could help with that. You know, you might have to do the punching for little hands, but the stamping would be great, okay? Be a lot of fun to make with them. Okay, let me show you a couple more. Here's one that I thought, okay, what if a little boy wanted to give one that's not too blingy? Well, I used an antique brag going through that heart instead of a rhinestone. And then I cut a piece of this first, first edition designer series paper. And that's about mm, half an inch by two and seven eighths, okay, to fit on top of the background piece. And when I put it here, it, I was it was straight I didn't have it distressed like this but it had kangaroo and I didn't want it to say that's in the text of the print I didn't want it to say happy valentine's day kangaroo so what I did is I took my distressing tool and I just rubbed it along the edges uh, and then just kind of rolled it up like there and then it's just okay it's good to go now okay so that's another little three by three card and then this one you can see is a different size and it was six by two and a half. Okay, so I scored it at three, folded it in half, just had to re rearrange my hearts a little bit different. And back here is that little scalloped, ruffled um, heart from the Hearts of Flutter Framelits collection. And just basically put it together the same. Didn't use any background paper because the hearts just made it just fine. So anyway, there you have some little ideas to make Valentines for yourself or for your kids, or work with your kids. And so if you have any questions, email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.